All right, so here is another good example of like, don't panic. Don't let the weird story bother you. Don't let the complicated equation and all the words bother you. This is not so bad of a question. In fact, you can at least get down to a 50-50 shot really, really quickly. So let me show you how. We have this equation, very clear. Uh, they're, they're giving, it gives us the company's predicted annual revenue in dollars X years after the company started selling light bulbs online, where zero is less than, or X is less than or equal to 10. What is the best interpretation of the statement? F of five is approximately equal to 518,748 in this context. Okay. Well, look at the five. Let's start with that, right? Where's that five? That's in place of the X. If you know function notation, uh, great, then this is easy for you. If you don't, watch my last video for question number 13 because it, it talks about function notation and, and how if it's in parentheses, it's just giving us the X value. So they're saying five is the X and X is the number of years. So five years is basically what that first part of the question is saying, F of five. Now look at your answer choices, right? In choice A, we have five years and choice B, five years, but in C, it's five times the predicted annual revenue. That, that's not about years, right? That's no good. And then in D, 5% greater than the annual revenue. Now years kind of slips in at the end, but I would want you to know that like the five is a number of years. That's just what they tell us the X coordinate means. So we need that unit to be attached to that number pretty tightly. So right away, look, you have a 50-50 shot of getting this question right. You've doubled your odds of at least getting some points here. That's not nothing. So this is why we can't just instantly give up on any question that seems hard. Maybe we won't be able to get down to one single right answer, but we might be able to eliminate some that are really, really bad. And then if we're guessing, we're guessing in a smart way. So we wanna just maximize the number of points we get. The more answers we eliminate confidently, the more over the course of the test, we're even gonna guess more correctly. So that's, that's good for us. Now, the, the key piece is just, uh, reading these these two choices and thinking now about how this equation works. So let's let's look at choice A. This uh, it represents five years after the company started selling light bulbs online. Its predicted annual revenue is approximately five hundred eighteen thousand seven hundred forty eight dollars, and that kind of makes sense, right? Because they said that f of x, the function, gives the av the annual revenue, right? So basically, if five is the x, then what? we get out of this is the revenue in dollars. So after five years, we're gonna make $518,748. That's, that's basically what choice A is saying. Let's look at choice B. Five years after the company started selling light bulbs online, its predicted annual revenue will have increased by a total of approximately $518,748. Now that is not true because we are, hmm, we're getting the point out. Right, so if it were the case that B were true, then what would happen is F of five would be equal to 718,748. Now, where'd I get that number from? Well, because I know how to read equations like this, this is called an exponential equation, I know that the starting value, the y-intercept, is the part kind of right in front of all the business end of this equation, right? So that's 200,000. And the reason it's, I know that is think about what a y-intercept is, right? If you put in zero for x, the y-intercept is what you get. So if you put in zero for this x right here, then it's 1.21 to the zero. And any number to the zero is one. So we're just multiplying 200,000 by one, which is 200,000. So basically, that's a fancy way of, or that's a longer way of saying that f of zero in this equation is equal to 200,000. So for choice B to be true, then when we put five in for that X, we would get 718,748 out because we are taking our 200,000 we start with and then increasing it by the 518,000. But that's not what's happening. And I know that for two reasons. One, I could just take my calculator and plug in five, write this equation, put in five for X, and I will not get 718,000 out. It's not gonna happen. But also that's kind of what they told us. They told us that when I put five in, F of five, it's approximately equal to 518,748. So they're just telling me what I'm gonna get out. So that 718 is not factoring in here at all. So I know that that part is more confusing. 
Um, and I wouldn't worry about that for now. I do think that that's genuinely a hard question, whether you're in eighth grade just starting to learn algebra and, and equations or whether you're in 11th grade taking the SAT. This is this is a little bit harder to, to sort through than uh, in other stories might be. But basically what they just gave us here is a point. And so the easiest way to think about points when we have stories is to get to the units. What are the units of the X coordinate? What are the units of the Y coordinate? And in this case, that got us down to two answers very, very quickly. So so thinking about that can at least increase your odds. So that's the thing I want you to take away. Don't let the story scare you. The story is always going to tell you what the variables mean. And honestly, that's really all they're asking. What do the variables represent? What do the numbers that we put in place of those variables represent? And the units can help you a lot, which they will always tell you.